there are a lot of stressors in our lives. Toxic schedules sa work, deadlines, pasaway na boyfriend, at iba pa. Pero bad ba talagang stress sa buhay natin? Does stress always have a negative impact in our lives? Yung stress, simply put, is feeling a certain uh, degree of pressure. Okay? So, it doesn't mean that stress is all bad. Meron tayong tinatawag na good stress, also called eustress, or bad stress, which is called distress. Okay? Ngayon, uh, depende yun sa degree of pressure kung magiging eustress or distress. Like, for example, uh, yung extremes, no? If there's too little stress, uh, parang walang pressure, uh, walang challenge, uh, people get bored, parang walang ginagawa, parang hindi ginagamit yung brain, kaya ang tawag doon no-brainer, no? Na mga trabaho. That's also stressful kasi yung potential ng tao hindi nagagamit. Uh, on the other hand, if it's too much stress, parang ano, nagiging pasanin sa balikat, mabigat sa damdamin, uh, parang bibigay yung katawan, and uh, that's uh, a kind of uh, stress rin, di ba? Distress rin yun. So, the stress that we're looking for, which is good stress or you stress, is called uh, optimum pressure, wherein nacha-challenge tayo, we feel tired at the end of the day, Pero we also feel satisfied. Parang may achievement tayo, di ba? Nagamit yung potential na natin. And we can still sleep well and wake up refreshed. Hindi lang pala laging negative ang effect ng stress. May silbi rin pala siya sa buhay natin. Parang kolesterol. May good, may bad. But it can affect our health mentally and physically. Pag uh, pinag-usapan yung under or over stress, may effect yun sa body sa mind, sa emotions, even sa spiritual life natin, and sa relationships. So talagang uh, nagpa-permeate yung stresses sa buong buhay natin. Like for example, sa mind natin, if we're, th if we're overloading our minds, then of course we can't concentrate, uh, yung focus natin nakaspread, di ba? We become more forgetful, uh, Sa ano naman, sa um, emotions, if we're understressed or overstressed, we become ano, irritable, we, we can become depressed. I have a lot of clients who are very anxious, di ba? And uh, that's how it affects the emotions. Mm, spiritually naman, if uh, you have too much stress, then you start wondering what life is all about, di ba? Para saan mo yung buhay? Bakit ako nag, uh, na, 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 uh, nag-exert ng too much effort, ng too much energy? I'm not happy naman. You know, what is life all about? And uh, this, all these doubts come in which affect work. And of course, relationship-wise, it stress also affects, uh, you know, relationships. Um, you also know kapag uh, under-stressed or over-stressed, Dahil na dumadami yung chismis, intriga, scandal sa trabaho, you know, and people are generally unhappy. Now, if people are stressed and unhappy, ang tendency is to make other people unhappy rin. Tuloy, nagkaka-conflict sa workplace. Ganun talaga ang stress, ano? It can lead to health problems physically and mentally. Whether we like it or not, stress is part na talaga ng buhay natin. Pero pag sobra na talaga, what are the things we can do kaya to lessen stress? Uh, the best way to cope with stress is to have a personal wellness program. Ibig sabihin nun, gagawa tayo ng sariling program which we like to do, which we enjoy doing, that we think will uh, help us. Okay? Like for example, uh, it's important that the body is given exercise. Uh, so we have to fit that. We have to include a physical fitness program into our whole program. No? Another is healthy eating. Uh, when employees are too stressed or toxic, kuminsan kumakain na lang siya ng junk food. Yung mga noodles dyan, uh, whatever, <laughs> na matataas sa cholesterol. Yung mga food na uh, masyadong puro chemicals, it destroys the electrolyte imbalance in our bodies. So we have to start eating healthy. 
Uh, another uh, thing that is needed no, for uh, the, our personal wellness program is to get enough sleep. Uh, yung sleep kasi has a restorative function. Uh, when we have deep sleep, dun nagre-recover yung katawan natin, yung emotions, at saka yung mind. Okay? Kung kulang yun, sira na yung buong araw natin, sira na yung buong waking time natin. And I think uh, there needs to be a time to enjoy relationships, to socialize, you know, and to avoid people who stress us. And lastly, we need a spiritual nurture program. Diba? Kasi siya yung ano, nagbibigay ng meaning sa buhay natin. Uh, without meaning, uh, why do I work hard? Diba? Why am I slaving? Uh, there's no purpose. So, spirituality helps us go beyond yung mga hardships natin, yung mga sufferings, so that we can cope better. Oh, ayan! We've learned so much from this segment. Oh, huwag kayo magpapakastress, ha? It might lead to health problems. Sabi nga, don't worry, be happy. Mas marami pa tayong tatalakayang health tips sa mga susunod nating episodes. Dito lang yan sa Healthy Living! <laughs>